Even after all these years, I still find myself constantly amazed by some of the things that you can do in Emacs. I'm constantly learning new things. And some of these amazing things are things that are actually built into Emacs that I'm just now discovering. And some of them are third-party packages that I've installed and played around with. Today, what I wanted to do, I wanted to share a couple of programs within Emacs that will blow your mind as far as being able to move text around, especially moving words moving single characters, moving lines, moving blocks of text all around the document. So let me switch over to my desktop and let me go ahead and launch Emacs and I'll open a, a file to play around with. Uh, I'll just open up one of my recent files uh, like config.fish which is of course the fish shells config file and I'll zoom in and the first thing I want to show you is this really cool built-in function in Emacs. If I do a meta x the name of the function is transpose dash words and this is really cool because what it does it transposes the words around the point so basically the point is you know, where the cursor point is and transposing the words it means transpose the word that's under the point with the next word essentially or the word before it depending on exactly where you have it for example if i'm on l which is the uh, very first character of the word line and i do meta t Alt T, because that's the built-in key binding out of the box with Emacs for this transpose words command. Alt T, you can see what happened. The word line and the word first swapped places, right? If I do U to undo. Now, if I was on any other character on the word line other than the first, it will actually transpose line with the word after it, which is remove. So if I do uh, meta T on that, you can see it moves line forward and you know, swaps line with the word after it, which was removes. So, and I believe it would work all the way until the uh, blank space right behind line that still, if I do meta T, would swap line with the word removes you to undo here in evil mode. Now, what's really cool is I could keep transposing this word. So if I did meta T to move line forward, right? So I'll move the word line forward one, move it again, move it again move it again it keeps swapping with the next word right behind it right so you can actually move the word much further along than just you know the swapping it with the next word now most of the time when you're doing a word swap like that you're typically just transposing the word one time especially this it probably isn't something you'd use all the time with programming for example but for creative writing you will often want to transpose the order of two words you know depending on maybe you want to rearrange the way you wrote something you know move the verb and you know the adverb and the preposition you know rearrange exactly the order of the way you stated things in a sentence so this transpose words function i love it and I think going forward, I'm going to abuse the hell out of this function. I'm going to use it all the time. As a matter of fact, I'm going to use it so much that when I'm on a computer that doesn't have Emacs installed, uh, most Linux and Unix-like operating systems do have Vim installed out of the box. And I know Vim doesn't have this transpose words functionality because you, know, you have to jump through some steps to tr do this transpose word thing in a vim document let me show you what i mean if i swap workspaces let me open a terminal now let me zoom way in and let me do a vim dot bash rc now my vim is actually neo vim but vim neo vim it's the same functionality but let's imagine i want to transpose the word bash with the word after it config well i would have to do five different key presses i think <laughs> like a minimum five key presses to do this i would have to do dw to delete word and then i would have to get behind the word that i wanted to transpose in this case i actually have to do something with the period so i would have to go forward to the next word so w to the next word which in this case is the period which is exactly where i want to be but then i'd have to go back one so h on the keyboard to go to the left but then i'd have to paste but then i'd i'd end up with a space that i don't need and then i have to add a space that i don't need so actually because of that period being where it was that actually makes that makes that a little more more complicated than it needed to be but you know you're talking about five or six key presses typically to swap two words right to transpose two words that are next to each other in vim and of course uh, with punctuations i hear with periods but you know dashes and hyphens what about you know 
carriage returns and things like that, it can get kind of complicated, right? So, you know, I started doing some searching. Can I get this transpose words functionality that I have in Emacs? Can I get that in Vim? And there is a page over on Vim.org about adding this exact functionality. What you could do is you could remap a key binding. Well, you could, you know, create a key binding for this. In their example, they're key binding GW. But you could, you know, make that anything. Let's imagine you're making it a meta T, right? Alt T. And you can see the code to set is this massive string. Right? That's the actual Vim code, right? Because what you want to do is you want to run the command underscore YIW. So the underscore is taking care of the blank spaces. YIW, yank inside word, and then colon S, colon S, colon is getting into command mode. S is a substitution. Then you've got a whole bunch of regex stuff, right, that it's doing here. Uh, CR, I think that has to do with the carriage returns. Uh, I don't play around with Vim script much, but you know, this is what you'd have to do to add that transpose word functionality to like your VimRC or you know your um, NeoVim config. But what I found was here at the bottom of the page, they also had some recommended plugins. And one of them is actually called transpose words plugin. And it's essentially the same as the Emacs transpose word program. So what it does is meta T, right? Does exactly what it does in Vim as it would in Emacs. So you go to this page and you grab the transword.vim package. And that's transword with no O. There's no letter O in the word. So transword without the O dot Vim. Grab the latest one. 1.1 is the version. Just download that file. And then all you need to do, if I go back to this here, and let me open up my graphical file manager, you need to drop that plugin in the plugins folder for Vim, or in my case, NeoVim. So I'm going to go into my home folder dot config slash nvim slash after slash plugin. And then in this folder, I dropped transword dot vim. And now that I have that there, if I get back into a terminal, let me zoom way in. And once again, I'll open my bash RC here in NeoVim. And now let me go to the first letter of the word bash here in my bash config. And if I do uh, meta T, you can see bash transposed itself, you know, swapped places with itself with the word before it in this case, which was the word my, because I was on the first letter of bash with the cursor point. Now, if I was at the end of the word, Let's go to the uh, blank space behind bash and did meta t bash switches with config. If I was somewhere in the center of the word and did meta t, it actually switches with my. So it does look like the functionality is a little different with the transword.vim plugin because if I'm in the middle of the word here in Emacs and do meta t, it does switch with the next word, but in Vim, it looks like it's always going to switch with the word before it unless your cursor is actually in the blank space after the word. So that is something to be aware of. But for the most part, the same functionality, just a little bit different. But now let me show you a third party Emacs package that I discovered the other day. Let me go back to the browser here. And over on GitHub, I found drag stuff dot el so drag stuff as you can imagine is you're grabbing you know words a region a block whatever you know, a block of text and you can move it around with ease because it has these built-in key bindings and what it uses is meta up meta down meta right meta left so the alt key and then one of the arrow keys and as long as you've got whatever block of text highlighted it just moves it over you know that amount of cursor points essentially. Let me show you this in action. So if I get back into Emacs, for example, and let's imagine this line here. Maybe I want to move this line around. Well, I could do a, a visual line mode. So if I do Shift V and now I've got that line selected. Now watch what happens when I do Alt Up. It moves the line up, right? It basically swaps that line with the line that was there. If I do Alt Up again, you see it moves it up ahead of that line, right? And if I do Alt Down, I can move it back down to where it was. So now let me try something with moving something left and right. Let's see. If I do 
a uh, let's do a visual block mode here and I select something maybe these three words here removes line the which some things are still out of order from where I played around with the transpose word command earlier but let's do uh, meta and then the right arrow key and if I do that I'm not exactly sure what it did. If I keep hitting meta left, it's moving the word path. And if I do left, it'll move that. So I, I think that's a problem with visual block mode and evil mode. What if I just selected something, though, with the mouse? So let me select it with the mouse and do alt and then right. And then, OK, this is the functionality as it's supposed to exist. It moves it a cursor point at a time. And that's that's neat. That is really, really cool. I could definitely see myself using dragstuff.el all the time as well. Now let me go ahead and U to undo and see if I can actually get all of this back to how it read before I started this video. Yeah, first line removes the path. That's the way that line uh, should exist. And actually, I should have showed you guys how to install drag stuff. So let me actually open Emacs once again. And let me go to my config. And I have this drag stuff section in my config now. If I zoom in, basically, it is just using the use package block that you, know, you typically would use to install packages in Emacs. So use dash package drag dash stuff. That's all you need to do. And then you actually need to make drag stuff a global mode, meaning enable drag stuff everywhere. So you have colon init. So set these before drag stuff is initialized. Turn the global mode on. That's what one means. It means turn the mode on. And then you also want to enable drag dash stuff dash define dash keys. So this sets those four default key bindings, which are meta up, meta down, meta left, meta right. So that way you don't have to define those yourself. Now, before I go, I need to thank a few special people. I need to thank the producers of this episode. And of course, I'm talking about Gabe, James, Matt, Paul, Steve, Wes, Armor, Dragon, Commander, Angry, George Lee, Methos, Nate, Erion, Paul, Peace, Arch, and Vador, Realities for Lust, Red, Prophet, Roland, Soul, Last, Street, Tools, Devil, Reward, Gen 2, and Ubuntu, and Willie. These guys, they're my steered patrons over on patreon without these guys this quick look at these really cool emacs programs it wouldn't have been possible the show is also brought to you by each and every one of these fine ladies and gentlemen all these names you're seeing on the screen right now these are all my supporters over on patreon because i don't have any corporate sponsors i'm sponsored by you guys the community if you like my work and want to see more videos about linux free and open source software and emacs subscribe to distrotube over on patreon these guys.